Let's say we take a look at another typewriter today. Hello again. Today we are going to be looking at this Olivetti portable typewriter. Olivetti, as you might surmise, is an Italian manufacturer, but uh, this particular typewriter was manufactured at a plant they had in Barcelona, Spain. And this was the second typewriter that I purchased uh, back in 2006. I had only recently caught the bug for typewriter collecting, and it started with a website that I stumbled upon. A website of a gentleman by the name of Richard Polt, who's a giant, like a literal giant, in the uh, area of typewriter collecting and general typewriter information. And uh, Mr. Polt is a also a philosophy professor at Xavier in Cincinnati. And I stumbled upon his site and just immediately fell in love uh, with these writing machines. Uh, but what began me collecting the typewriters is... Uh, the same thing that has led me to collect some other things that I collect obsessively, and that is primarily nobody else wanted them. Um, just a uh, a hint, a rule to live by. If you're wanting to start a collection, it's way easier to start a collection if you collect things that nobody else wants because you'll find lots of them, and they're really cheap. Uh, now, the tide has turned on typewriters quite a bit. It's uh, It fluctuates and... The price uh, for a used uh, vintage manual typewriter has increased significantly, part of which probably has to do with uh, a, a man by the name of Tom Hanks. Maybe you've heard of him. Uh, that it turns out is a typewriter collector and appreciator of manual typewriters. Uh, but uh, anyway, when I started collecting them, um, they were something that really weren't thought of as something you collect. So I was able to find them pretty much anywhere. Uh, case in point, this uh, Olivetti I purchased on uh, Goodwill, um, Shop Goodwill online, I think that's the name of their, shopgoodwill.com. So Goodwill stores their online presence, Shop Goodwill. Uh, when it was kind of first starting out or uh, wasn't uh, very popular, I found this typewriter for uh, just under $5, and it was from a local Goodwill, local to me, local to where I was working at the time, so I could go pick it up. I didn't have to pay for shipping or worry that it would be damaged in transit. So for less than 5 bucks, I got this uh, very desirable Olivetti Lettera, or Lettera, depending on how you want to pronounce that, Lettera 33, and... Uh, Let's, um, I guess, take a closer look at that. So Olivetti has a line of typewriters, or had. They manufactured a line of typewriters, portables, and big desktop machines uh, that were uh, really standouts for their design, as in artistically their design. In fact, I believe one of these, this very typewriter, the letter of 33, um, is represented in the Philadelphia Museum of Art. may not be on permanent display, but uh, it was at one point, uh, just for its design quality. And um, still a fine typing machine, very precise. Um, there you can find pictures online of Francis Ford Coppola writing the uh, screenplay for uh, the Godfather on a machine that looks identical to this, although his, I think, was labeled Olivetti Letter of DL, which I don't know what the difference is. They, I think they're identical machines. And also that this particular typer, under this uh, classy-looking black vinyl case, is an identical machine to the Letter of 32, uh, which is a very popular typewriter among writers uh, of a certain age. So, uh, <clears throat> very classy looking black vinyl uh, all the way around. Kind of these silvery gray 
accents made in Olivetti plant Barcelona Spain did I say five dollars five dollars got the little return handle that flips up like that you can easily lift off the ribbon cover and it did come with the original ribbon spools, which is important. I do have some spares for Olivetti, but... And this is actually the only Olivetti portable that I own. Um, not sure why, it just worked out that way. Well, have to, have to use two hands to do this. Okay. Okay, so let's... Uh, Move in a little closer here. Okay, so here we are, Olivetti Letter of 33. Um, the last typewriter, I guess the first and the last so far typewriter I reviewed uh, was an Aztec made in Germany. And that was a carriage shifted machine, uh, which means when you hit the shift key, the carriage, the part that moves on the typewriter, which I have locked on this, I realize. I'm gonna unlock that so it'll move. Okay. This uh, carriage would move up and down depending on whether you are um, depressing the shift key or not. On this one, you can see, rather than lifting the carriage, it lowers the tight bars, uh, the basket. See that moving up and down as I shift. Much easier on the little finger to do that. Much lighter touch. And... Uh, this Olivetti has a fantastic light touch for a typewriter. A couple other features here. It has a uh, paper support that's kind of cool looking. Looks like rabbit ear antennas. Uh, the, on some typewriters, typewriter manufacturers were moving to these complicated systems of setting the margins. So if you want to set the margins for your paper, um, Royal had what they call the magic margin. Different companies had systems for doing this where you could set the margins from the keyboard or from special uh, buttons or levers on the sides um, that I think are just ridiculously complicated when I prefer this type of system that Olivetti has employed and some other manufacturers employed. Just a press and slide. Very simple. You can see uh, it has the scale on it can't see that at all because I don't have it focused. There we go. <clears throat> so just press and slide, put the, the uh, margins wherever you want to set them. Simple, easy peasy. Listen to the bell. Beautiful. <clears throat> I love this uh, red tab key. That's a kind of a signature thing among Olivetti's. Uh, you can set the tab stops from the keyboard, which I think is useful. Um, you do that with this lever here. I believe there used to be a plate that's missing on my model. Back here behind the keys. I'm not certain. I'll have to look at a closer picture of one online. Uh, but you can set the tab stops here. So find where you want to put the tab stop. Go right to that spot. Um, ribbon color selector. We've got black, nothing, and then red. Even though it's vinyl on the outside and plastic, it's uh, you know a steel. It's like a modern car. It's a steel cage inside <clears throat> and you know durable this is over 50 years old so um, kept in its case which I didn't say anything about the case but I think it's rather attractive too um, this kind of cool silver and black also vinyl zippered case five bucks I, you would not find <laughs> this today for Anywhere near that, unless you just happen to be at a garage sale and somebody wants to get rid of it. But 
beautiful, wonderful typing action, and we'll give it a try here in just a moment. So this particular typewriter, along with many of my typewriters, I'm a bit ashamed to say, has been sitting in its case in my closet for oh, a number of years, let's say. I may have taken this one out briefly at some point to try. Let's just uh, slide a piece of paper in here and see how it's going to do. Straight. Margins here. Okay. Let's just fire it up here and see how she does. one for the line spacing there. Let's try again. Okay. My typing isn't the best. But after years of sitting in a closet, it's still typing smooth, no stuck keys. Um, if anything is out of whack, it's me and my fingers. things that contains all the letters of the alphabet that you use to test a typewriter. It's one of my favorite ones. Black Sphinx of Quartz, Judge My Vow. No idea what that means, but it sounds kind of Lovecraftian and uh, I believe uses all the letters of the alphabet. I'll have to see if I got that exactly right. The most famous, of course, is um, the Quick Brown Fox. see my typing errors and how I did here. Not bad for the awkward position I have to sit in to work around this camera, but Olivetti. I, I'm not aware of a poorly made Olivetti typewriter. Uh, they all are very highly reg regarded for the quality of their construction, the typing experience. Um, if you are interested in typewriters, you probably should have an Olivetti in your collection at some point, an Olivetti of some type. I do have one other Olivetti. I, I think I said earlier that I don't have any other Olivettis. I have one other. It's a desktop, and uh, I'll probably be looking at that sometime in the near future. Um, but beautiful machine, types wonderfully. Has held up over the years even with all the neglect that I subject it to. Um, Five dollars well spent and uh, just yeah just a joy to type on. 
Thanks for looking at this Olivetti Letter uh, 33 typewriter made in Barcelona, Spain. Who knows what I'll be doing in the next video? I don't even know. Um, but maybe you'll check in and see if it's something you'll enjoy. If so, watch it, comment. I always love that. And uh, hope to see you here next time.